City Pressure. News manager Brendan O'Mahony was at the first of two Mumford & Sons concerts at Scotiabank Arena Monday night. And when it let out, he was among the thousands trying to make their way north through a Bay Street walkway. He got his phone out and shot this exclusive video of the dangerous bottleneck created by locked doors at the north end. This is the Bay West Team Way. Uh, as you can see, it is a very well-traveled, covered walkway on the west side of Bay for Union Station users. And for people coming out of the Scotiabank Theatre, it is the quickest way to the subway. Now, as we told you last night, this is the reason for the backlog on Monday night. Those two double doors were inexplic inexplicably closed and locked. So were these two double doors. This a single door was the only one open for thousands of people to exit. It was madness. There's just hordes of people, and as soon as you started walking down, there was no way to turn back. And finally, you know, some people started to stream sort of like salmon going upstream, going the opposite direction, and saying there's only one door open, and they were quite panicked. Brendan says it was a dangerous situation that could have been a tragic one. He says it easily could have resulted in somebody getting trampled. The chief of Toronto Fire Services agrees. He was shocked when he saw the video on City News last night and has now launched a comprehensive investigation. I'm deeply, deeply troubled by what I saw in the video. The, the obstruction, the blocking of exit doors from a public building, you know, any public building, but certainly something like Union Station is very specifically controlled in the fire code. So we will, our, our team as we speak actually is in the process of conducting that investigation and we will, uh, we will complete that investigation and take enforcement action under the fire code to the full extent of the law. Chief Pegg would not say who could face charges under the fire code or what the penalty might be, but the city owns Union Station. A spokesperson could not comment on the chief's remarks, only to say briefly in a statement, the city takes safety very seriously and we will work to ensure our contractors undertake any actions as directed by the fire chief. The contractor is Bonfield Construction, which Metrolinx blamed for the inappropriate door closure Monday. It was rectified Tuesday, but the company has been plagued by numerous well-documented delays in the construction project. The Union Station revitalization started in 2009 and was supposed to end in 2015. The projected completion date now is sometime in 2019, four years late. Union Station customers are used to congestion problems after nine years, but that doesn't make them any less frustrating. Do you find there are issues of overcrowding here in Union? Yes, constantly, because this construction has been going on forever, and I don't know when it's going to end, but it'd be nice if it would. It's very disorganized. Well, the only thing I find with all the construction, it's very confusing. Yes. I come through here and I avoid going into the main station because yeah. I get lost in there. Uh, during the day, you know, it's not much. But in the morning, it's incredible. In the morning, it's impossible. Now, I reached out to the president of Bonfield Construction this afternoon to try to get his reaction to uh, Chief Pegg's concerns and also to get an explanation as to why the doors were locked. But I did not get a response.